We turn now to the scene down at the shore. Now that new rules limiting who can be on the beach and when have now gone into effect. Yeah, for more on the reaction to the changes on this uh, long holiday weekend for many, we turn to New Jersey correspondent Trish Hartman live in Sea Isle City. Hey, Trish. Hey, Brian and Shari. Well, this weekend is going to be a big one down at the shore, and especially for Sea Isle City. You can see here in the center of town, they're setting up carnival rides for the kids, anticipating a big crowd. Vendors will be here on the promenade, but with schools out for the summer and a long weekend for some, new rules in some of these shore towns will be put to the test. A gloomy Friday at the shore meant more people were on Sea Isle's promenade than on the beach, but many were looking forward to Father's Day weekend, also known as Skimmer Weekend in Sea Isle. Lots of fun eating. Um, we really like Skimmer. I have kids all over the country that are coming next week, so I'll be shopping. Sea Isle City officials say things are going, quote, very smoothly since a new 10 p.m. curfew and an evening bag ban went into effect this year. The new measures came about after large groups of teens were causing trouble in town at night. Similar ordinances were just passed yesterday in Ocean City, an 11 p.m. curfew for juveniles and a bag ban on the boardwalk and beaches after 8 p.m. Emergency council meetings were held to pass the ordinance after police responded to nearly a thousand incidents Memorial Day weekend, including vandalism, underage drinking, and assaults. In Wildwood, a new ordinance bans alcohol in any form on the beaches and boardwalk. That includes closed containers. Back in Sea Isle, folks at James's Fudge just off the promenade are excited for the season to start in full swing. After the high school kids and middle school kids in Pennsylvania kind of get out of school and kind of come down here more, we're hoping for a little bit more pickup for business, so we're very excited for Skimmer Weekend. Manager Kayla Jones says large groups of teens at night have been a nuisance for businesses in the past. She says this year, so far, seems to be tamer. I'm glad they're doing something. It's it's definitely noticeable of a, of a difference uh, for at least Memorial Day weekend. Now, there are, of course, some exceptions for the curfews, including teens on their way home from a job, on their way home from an organized city-sanctioned activity, or in an emergency situation. Reporting live in Seattle City, New Jersey, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. Let's make it a good weekend there, Trish. Thank you.